Hello everybody. It's Tina, your hot mess pamper chef consultant. How are we doing today? Let me know when you're with me, if you're watching me live. If you're watching this later, comment hashtag repeat so I know you were here. How's everybody doing on this lovely PS I love you day? I hope everybody's doing well. Say hi when you're on with me, guys, so I know who's here. I'll try to watch your comments. I'm on my phone today, so hopefully that'll do well. We are having winner, winner, chicken dinner day, all right? So winner, winner, we're going to pull the names for whoever won on our guessing games and the deal or no deal game that we had going. Um, and we are also going to cook a chicken dinner, obviously. Uh -huh. Hey, Zuli girl. Hi, Helen. Um, so I just want to start off by saying, I don't know if many of you know, um, about PS I Love You Day, which is the second Friday of every February, and I'm wearing my purple shirt to represent, um, and PS I Love You Day is basically, um, a foundation that works to, um, teach kids about mental health, and it, it's a foundation that really hits home for me, um, I feel like I don't know if many of you know my history, um, but mental health has been a big part of my life and my journey, and um, I'm a recovering addict. I spent many years as a teenager dealing with mental illness and having no real understanding of it. So the fact that this program is helping young kids learn about themselves and mental illness and providing them with resources that I didn't have when I was growing up, and I'm sure most of us didn't, is just so amazing to me and mental health really plays a big role in why I do Pampered Chef. Um, there are days with four kids that the dishes feel like Mount Everest to me. There are days where I don't want to get up out of my bed. I don't want to cook dinner for my kids. So I do Pampered Chef because it gives me that motivation in an area that's hard for me. Um, and I'm sure many of you can relate to that, especially, you know, with having kids and feeling like you have to cook, you have to clean, you have to do this, you have to do that. It's all these have tos. And some days I just don't want to, you know, and um, I've suffered from depression, anxiety for a long time. And I do pamper check because it gives me that, you know, coming on to see you guys today. I made sure I did my hair. I made sure that my kitchen was clean. I had a recipe ready for dinner and I'm excited to do it, which is the biggest thing because I'm going to cook every day or at least feed my kids, whether it's a frozen meal or pizza delivery, whatever the case is that day. But Pampered Chef really gives me that motivation to do those little things that someday feel like the hugest things, little things, brushing my teeth, getting out of bed. You know, when you deal with mental illness, those little bitty normal life functions are the ones that are really difficult. So I'm representing PS I Love You Day and I hope that everybody knows I love you all. If nobody's told you today, you are amazing and you are special and whatever you're facing, there are people out there. The biggest part of me getting through everything that I've been through is my support group. I have to know who to call when I want to tell them that I can't cook dinner tonight. I don't want to cook. I don't want to do anything. I don't, you know, I have a partner who I can confide in and say, today is not my day, you know, and building that support system is really how I've made it here today. So I just want to thank you guys for joining me all the time and commenting and participating because it does mean so much to me. It's not about making money for me. It's really about the enjoyment and the experience that it provides in my life that I can't find anywhere else. That little bit of motivation that helps me pull through. So now that we got real deep, well, let's have some fun. Let's cook some dinner. Let's pick some winners. All right, guys. So I have my chicken cutlets. I already cleaned them up. I use my lovely Pampered Chef knife. If you guys don't have Pampered Chef knives, all right, first of all, the best way to get them, of course, is to host a party because who wants to pay full price for anything? All right, I love my knife pot. I love my knives. I, the coated knives are great. The executive knives have a lifetime warranty. Every product from Pampered Chef has a warranty, but some items, including these knives, have a lifetime warranty. And this baby, we cut, we get like a whole filet mignon and we, oh, it slices it like butter, like butter. All right. Chicken pellets, whatever. All of these knives, great. Love them. And you get the handy dandy 
sorry I'm getting off frame, but this comes with the block when you get the whole set and it is the sharpener. So for the rest of their lives, you can sharpen them. There, if you look, the metal goes all the way through. Okay, so you're not going to break off your handle. It can't come off because it's all one piece. And God forbid, some by some miracle, if that happens, Pamper Jeff will replace them at no cost. So there you go. Worth the investment. All right, so we have our chicken cutlets. We're just going to season them up a little bit. I have my pans getting hot. What are we making, you may be asking. Yeah, yeah, chicken dinner. What are we doing with it? Because chicken can be so damn boring. I eat chicken so much. Some days I'm like, I don't even want to. I don't. But I have found a lot of ways to make it what I want. So I'm just going to take a little adobo, whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. Just add some flavor to that chicken. Do not just put salt and pepper on it. All right. Some onion powder or a lot of onion powder because I don't know how to control my shape there. Shake him over the garbage a little bit. Okay. Let me wash my hand now. So we're seasoning up our chicken. We're just gonna grill this baby up because if you don't remember, I am trying to work on my eating habits, lifestyle changes, hashtag mental health, very important what you're putting into your body. Didn't know this until I started feeling a difference in my own experience, okay? I don't care what kind of diet you do or what you do, just pay attention to what you're putting in your body because I spent 30 years not and I'm regretting it. Because had I started paying attention when I started cooking for myself, I probably wouldn't be having this problem today. All right, so adobo, onion powder, a little bit of complete seasoning, paprika. I love paprika on some chicken. Just gives it that little extra thing. All right, so this is going to go right into my grill pan. Like I said, I have these heating up a little bit, so hopefully we'll get a nice sear. Just a couple tablespoons of olive oil. Do not heat up your pan with your olive oil in it. It will burn. All right, olive oil heats, uh, cooks at a lower rate. So you don't want it to burn. Otherwise, the food's gonna taste like burnt olive oil. So I always heat up my pans first. And then right before I'm putting the food in, like now, I will, whoa, don't drop that chicken. Grab my tongs. And now we're going to throw this, the season side down, right in there. This pan is not that hot. Let's bump it up a little bit, but we don't want to cook it too high because if we cook it too high, it's going to be chewy and this is going to go in the oven again at the end. So really, right now, we are just giving it some nice flavor on the outside. Can I get five chicken cutlets in here? Yes, I can. All right, guys, so this is our grill pan. We have grill pans in several different shapes. We have our griddle pan, we have our um, double burner grill pan, and then we have the single grill pan. I love them all, doesn't matter. The technology is great. I uh, use it for steak, chicken, um, and so many things. Sausage, I love the way that it gives it those grill marks inside my house, okay? Love that. So let me just wipe this down a little bit because we've got seasoning everywhere. And what are we going to do next? We are going to get our spinach and onion going. Like I said, I have this heating up. Let me grab one of my flexible cutting boards. If you guys know, I have like 20 of them. Probably literally at least like 12. And yeah, I told you guys to watch what you're putting in your body and I'm drinking sugar-free Red Bull. But let me tell you, I've had a Red Bull problem for a long time. And switching to sugar-free three months ago was the hardest thing. I've probably done. <laughs> so, progress, not perfection, guys. I'm just going to use my coated chef knife here to get this skin off of this onion. And I'm going to go for half just so it makes my life easier for peeling it. And it's going to give me a little bit of a different slice when I put it through my slicer. Okay, just getting rid of that skin. Alright, and I have my hot mess this is on check. Okay, the hot mess is here. I have my simple slicer. I put my piece of onion right there in the holder. Use this. Right into the pan. We're not wasting any time. 
Who's excited to see if they won the game? I'm excited to mail out some prizes. Yes. And I'm making a mess. Let me do a couple right here so you guys can see how thin they are. Yes. Since you're so far away from my stove today. Look at that. Look at how thin that slice is. And that's on the second setting. There's three settings. So I could do one thinner and I could do one bigger. Perfect for putting on top of a burger. And making like a little burger bar for a barbecue. You can just try to few of these up. Put them in our cool and serve tray with your tomato, your onion, all that goodness. And you're good to go. Alright. Onion in. Chef. Let me clear my station here. Ba -da 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 -da. Is everybody excited for Valentine's Day? Who's showing some love this weekend? I have so much to do. We always go all out. I'm the worst. I get too excited with the kids, and then I'm doing too much. But we survive, right? All right, let's season this up again. Let's try not to do too much onion powder like I did before. Onion powder. Adobo. La -di -da -di -da -di -di. La -di -da -di -da -di da We always do surf and turf. I just switch up what the surf and the turf are every year. And we're going to be having um, New York strip steaks and, uh, the, oh my God, I found these lobsters. No joke, guys. They're as big as my forearm. Like literally, I put it up to my forearm. It's the same size, okay? Huge lobsters. New York strip steak. Um, some, I always do fried cheese. My kids love fried cheese, so I'll show you guys that. And I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do for sides. Probably a salad, of course. So, try to keep it somewhat keto-friendly. Last year, oh my God, I made fried cauliflower and uh, fried calamari. It was so good, and I want it so bad, but it's a lot of work for too many carbs. Not doing it this year. <laughs> but still going to be just as delicious, I'm sure. All right, so my onions are cooking up, nice and pretty. Let them be. Once we see those start to clear up a bit, get translucent, we will um, throw in our spinach, and this is going to be our veggie with our chicken. I'm going to use some bacon probably. I'm not sure what time I'm going to cook dinner on Sunday, Melanie. I know you're joking about coming because you're way too far away, and I would love to have you at my dinner table any day, literally any day. You come to Florida, you stop at my house, I'll cook. doesn't matter. Um, but I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe like 4 or 5 o'clock, try to do an early dinner. The kids have off school Monday. I have off work, so that's fun. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. But the most important thing about Sunday, listen, I don't care. You can be married, you can have Beyonce, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get them there present, do what you gotta do, join me for dinner, but make sure your order is in, guys. You have to have your orders in by Sunday afternoon before I go live, because when I go live, I'm gonna do the wheel of everybody who ordered and see who wins the entire host rewards package. 60% off items, 50% off items, free product value. You don't want to miss out. You could spend $25, get one entry into the host package, and win the whole thing. Guys, it's that easy. All right? And the more we spend in the sales for the party, the more the host rewards packages are, okay? And listen, if you don't win, and you are like, you know what, I really need to upgrade some items in my kitchen, let me know. I have parties open still for February. We'll go over the whole specials and stuff in a minute. But I also have availability for March, which is when our spring products release. March 1st, they're all coming out. Hopefully, let me say a prayer real quick. If FedEx can get their life together and make sure my package arrives on time, 
I will be able to show you guys on Sunday the new spring products that I got. Two weeks early, I'll show you. If FedEx gets here. Whenever that package comes, I'll do an unboxing with you guys. But let's all hope that FedEx can do what they say and be here on Sunday. That would make my Valentine's Day for sure. All right, so our chicken. Let me just check our chicken. Looks like it's starting to sear. Oh, can you guys see that from there? Let me show you. Look at that. Look at those marks, those real marks, okay? Guys, we are in my kitchen. Look at that. Whoops. Beautiful. I'm going to give it about another minute or two on this side. And then flip them. Because we don't need them to be completely cooked through. But we want them, I'd say about like 75-80% cooked. So this way when we put them in the oven, with all our goodness mixed together that you see, everything comes out perfectly cooked. And we don't want our chicken to be dry. So we want a little bit of room for it to still cook in the oven. But mostly cooked so that we don't have to burn everything to finish our chicken. Alright, so moving right along. What else do I have? What else, what else, what else? All right, guys, when you place those orders, let me remind you of this one. If you spend $80, Pampered Chef is going to give you one of these babies. I love them. I love, love, love my silicone basin brush. I've had this thing for like six years. The first time I became a Pampered Chef consultant, I got this in my starter kit, all right? Yeah, well, let me tell you, the best part for me is that Imagine I'm out there, right? I got my barbecue sauce at the barbecue or whatever my marinade is, some teriyaki. Say I got some shish kebabs or some chicken on the barbecue, right? Take it. It's not going to melt because the tip is silicone, okay? Just don't drop it in the fire because the rest is plastic. But based on my yummy topping on there, my marinade, okay? Then... What do you what do you do with this sloppy thing that's dripping with sauce after, right? Think it's going to hold itself right on the edge. See, even there, it fell a little bit, but it's still on the edge. It's not going to go back. You ever have your utensil drop in your sauce? And you're out there, no, no napkins at the barbecue trying to figure out what the hell to do with all this sauce all over you? Yes, this is my life. I'm a hot mess. I know all about it. So in Pamper Chef... Does a silly little thing like put a hook on the back of a basting brush. It makes my life that much easier. And I get excited about making my life easier. Alright. I'm going to give this chicken a nice flippity flip. Oh yeah. Oh yes. And you hear that sound? That's how we know we're cooking. We want that sizzle baby. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. Mm -hmm. Alright, so since I showed you the little mixing bowl, I want to show you guys the whole set because these are super cheap. Alright, for a whole set. They're like 35 bucks, 45 bucks. I'm so, somewhere in that range. I should check, but I did it. Alright, but you get three bowls, the big one, the medium, the small. I've been using these every day since they came to my door. Like, literally, I took them out of the box, and I used them with dinner that night, and then the next night, and then the next night. And listen, on cheat day, when I just want me a bowl of Lucky Charms, I'm saying, listen, guys, I didn't get this way because I didn't like Lucky Charms. A nice big bowl of Lucky Charms or some cinnamon toast crunch. Yes, I'm having some cravings, guys. I've been really healthy for a while now, and I want some dang cereal. But something that's like the perfect cheat bowl. Mm -hmm. We have a date. Maybe Valentine's Day morning. All right, so. Let's look at these onions. These are looking delicious. All right, we got our onions going. Let me take my spinach. And then I'm going to use whatever's left in here. However much, ah, however much doesn't end up on the floor. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Clean up, clean up. Okay. So, spinach and onions. Chicken is cooking. What are we going to cook them in? You know what? Let me grab the beautiful lid for this. I, I don't know if I talked about this pan. This is our 12 inch non stick cast iron. Um, stainless steel non stick 
skillet. This is the big boy, the 12 inch. There's a wok, there's a 10 inch. This is perfect for me. I use it all the time. It is definitely my most used pan. I probably use this one just as much except for a couple days. But this I use a lot and I do use it for chickens and stuff. When I'm gonna do like something where I'm putting the chicken and the sauce and like maybe over some veggie noodles or some pasta, I do it all in there because the um, cast iron, I don't know why I love keep it. Because I'm looking over there and my beautiful cast iron set just keeps catching my eye like, don't forget to tell them about this. Sorry, my, the non-stick baked in enamel in there really helps to catch that, like, um, it gives that sear and then it leaves that, what is it called? That good stuff. You know. That good stuff when you cook some chicken. I can't think of the name right now. But anyway, all the flavor that's locked in down there is just delicious. These are cooking great now and quick. So let's flip this over to the little burner and drop it down a little bit so we can get everything in. But anyway, so this pan, awesome, great piece, love it. I'm not a stainless steel person, but that is not even really stainless steel because it's non-stick too. It cooks like stainless steel, has all the benefits of non-stick. All right, guys, so since I keep saying cast iron, let's just take a look. Look at this set. All right, I have something special to tell you. Isn't it beautiful in all its gray sleekness? Love it. Enameled cast iron, dishwasher safe, one quart, two quart, six quart Dutch oven. Love them, okay? If they were bigger, I'd be using it for dinner tonight because I love the way it cooks. And we also have the stoneware starter set. So when you get a stoneware start, the stoneware starter set, you're going to get the pizza stove, the loaf pan, and the bar pan. Now, the reason why I have the medium, the smaller pizza stone here, this is the medium, yes, large, medium, and then there's personal. If you guys watched my pizza video the other day, and on that second pie that we made together, I took that silicone basting brush that you can get free for $80 this month, and I put oil all over this pan, including the handles, remember? Because I said I was working on it seasoning. I did not do it to this one. I haven't used them since. This is the difference in seasoning your pan with oil before you cook with it. The first seven times you use it, you should be seasoning it. And you might say, why, you know, why would you want to go from a light, pretty, beautiful little piece of stoneware to a brown, dirty looking one? It ain't dirty, okay? I've scrubbed this baby clean. It is seasoned. And you can clearly, you see that shine, see the difference between where it got seasoned and where the food absorbed all that oil, okay? That is because this beautiful coating around here, this thing you may call ugly or brown or dirty looking, it ain't. It's clean and it's not going to let my food stick to it. It is very important. This is the new stoneware, guys, but if you have the old stoneware, season that baby too. But now these are dishwasher safe. So I wanna make sure that I'm getting the best season I can on my stoneware. When I first get a piece of stoneware, my job is to take care of that baby. So this way, in five years from now, 10 years from now, it's still gonna be around and it's gonna look brown and dark. The darker it is, the better it cooks. All right, guys, that is, the best advice I can give you. Now, sad thing is, a customer can't get these right now, but a host in February can get this starter set for 60% off, or our beautiful cast iron set, or non-stick cookware. All right, let me show you guys. So, you can get 60% off the cast iron set, okay, the, yep, the cast iron set, this is the other set that has the rock crock, rock crock in it, if you guys remember the rock crocks, I was so obsessed, this is the rock crock Dutch oven and the everyday pan, love them, do you see this blue right here, I really think my printer and camera give this color no justice right now, none. But that's okay, because I have something coming on Sunday that will show you the true color of this. But you can get them for a limited time as a host for 60% off the whole set in that beautiful teal blue. Okay? And the starter kit, stoneware, or your non-stick starter set. 
that's the skillet, the small pot, and the big pot, all right? Guys, get on my schedule for a party, okay? Because that's the only way you can get stoneware right now, all right? Until it comes back in full effect, you got to host the party. And let me tell you, I know for a while during the pandemic, when it was, well, during, we're still there, yeah. Um, but when things were really beginning with the pandemic and Pamper Chef was everywhere, everybody was hosting parties, it was like your friends were like, please, I've been to seven parties in the last three months, I don't want to. And that's why I took a break for a little while, because it was just becoming too much, people were overwhelmed, people weren't happy, and that's not the service I want to bring. I want to do this, enjoy this, and I want everyone to be happy with their products and have no frustrations in getting them. So, in that essence, your friends have not been to Pamper Chef parties a million times. Not everybody is joining Pamper Chef. A lot of people have slowed down. You know, your people who were just joining for a little while where there was everybody everywhere was a Pamper Chef consultant because, hey, why not? You get such great perks. So everybody was giving it a try. Now it's kind of slowed down and the people who really want to stick it out are still here. And we want to make sure that everybody's still able to get their products. So if you haven't had a party in a while, if you had a party and it failed, if you had a great party, Whatever the case, let's host another one. When our spring products are coming out March 1st, guys, come on. I'll show you those details in a minute. All right, so we have our chicken is like done. I haven't used even the spatula yet in this pan. Oh, it looks so beautiful. I love when my onions get like just that. They go just from not, not burnt, not crispy where they just get that little bit of caramelization on them. Woo! That is what I'm talking about, especially on a red onion because it gives such, it has such immense flavor. And it's really going to help this spinach taste, you know, kick it up a couple notches. So you're not just like, oh, yay, spinach again. This is my life, guys. Spinach, 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 and more spinach. Okay, so what do we want to cook that in? Hmm. I say... I'm going to use my 12 inch cast iron skillet. This is not the enameled one. This is the um, plain up, plain straight up cast iron. Okay, this is the stuff that you can pretty much use on anything. All right, it isn't dishwasher safe though. That's what's nice about the enamel is you can use it just as in anywhere and it is dishwasher safe. But this baby, because it's not dishwasher safe and that cast iron just builds up that coating, you can see how. It, it looks, but that's the best. That is the best, all right? So, and this is something, I have so many pieces. I can't wait. I have three girls, guys. I have four kids, three girls. They're going to need things in their kitchen when they're 20 and they move out and they get their own place. Because guess what? I will finally not have to cook for everyone every day. Sorry, I had to take that in for a minute. So, when they do move out and get into their own places, these are pieces. These things are going to outlive me, that's for sure. Okay? Give them to them when they're 20, when they're 50, and they're feeding their grandkids. Guess what? It's going to be great. All right? It's, this is going to be a piece that lasts forever. Okay? So, you can get the 20 inch, uh, 20 inch. Uh, what's your 20 inches, girl? All right, 12 inch. Then we have the 10 inch. And then we also have this set of five and a half inch skillets. Those are super cute for little. Um, like desserts or if you're out camping and you do eggs in one and bacon and sausage in the other, really great to have too. But you can get the set of the two big skillets, the 12 inch and the 10 skillets on sale right now for $99. And like I said, these things can come to your funeral, your kid's funeral, because they're still going to be around long after we are. So we're going to use that to make our deliciousness. Now, I love, love, love my spinach, right? <clears throat> anyway, sometimes I need to spice it up a little bit. So, for today's adventure and how can I get spinach down my throat, I am going to use the bigger bowl. Hopefully she doesn't drop these bowls. I will cry. I will cry. Not even joking. Not even a little bit. All right. So I'm going to put my lovely spinach and onion deliciousness right in here okay in my pan. now this chicken over here better not be burning on me Ooh. 
Oh my god, this is looking more and more delicious. Now I did leave these chicken pieces pretty thick because I really want them to be our base basically for it's our main dish. I want to let chicken need that protein. Ugh, guys, I have another moment of honesty for you. So about two weeks ago, right, one day at 12 o'clock, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do a workout, right? And me and my friend Alexa, we did a five-minute workout. I was like, you know what? I'm going to set myself up to do this every day, right? So I said, Alexa, at 12 o'clock every day, remind me to do my workout. I feel so bad. I ditch Alexa every day. Every day she says, Tina, it's your turn to do your workout. And I say, Alexa, shut up. <laughs> I'm horrible, all right? But progress, not perfection. Remember that on your PS I love you day. Wherever you're at today, you don't have to be there tomorrow. You don't have to be there in five minutes, okay? Because I have plenty of those days where it's like a roller coaster. Okay. So, as you can see, I'm running my mouth and fighting with cream cheese. What else is new? Literally, I think whoever made the packages for cream cheese had me in mind and was like, <laughs> let's have this girl on live TV on Facebook fighting with a piece of aluminum foil. For her damn cream cheese. Because I do it, what, like every time we use cream cheese, right? Yep. I win this time because I don't have my nails done. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to whip that in. Get some cream cheese. I'm going to get that chicken out of the pan. I hear it sizzling over here and I don't want it to burn. So, first thing first. I'm going to let that cream cheese melt in the pan there. Hi, honey, I see you. Andrew is my boo, and he is the best. He's been so supportive, the pampered chef, and he does his best to tame our four little monsters so I can enjoy myself and be with you guys. But, I mean, he does get to come home to whatever we cook, so what is he really doing this for? Honey, is it support or is it self-preservation to get a good meal? I don't know. Love you. All right, so I have my oil in there. I'm just going to throw some salt on the bottom because I haven't really seasoned this bad boy up, and I want to. Silicone basting brush. Use it all the time for so many reasons. Okay. Give me a nice coat of oil there because I don't want my chicken sticking to this. You know what? I just really don't know what I want to do. Okay. Don't want this chicken to cook too much more. So, let me clean it. Because I think I would like to do it. Oh. You know what? Let's just go for it. I'm going in. I'm doing it. Okay, we're going to take our bacon. Hi, honey. I can't, guys, do you see how old I'm getting? I'm like, <laughs> what is this thing? So if I don't answer you, it's not because I don't want to. It's simply because a girl can't see. All right. Since my bacon wants to fight with me just like the cream cheese as usual, we're just going to take my kitchen. Oh, look, I cut through the bacon a little bit. Okay. I love these. Kitchen shears. Cut through the chicken. Bone. All right, so, to really just, you know, do this up a little bit, let us, how do I want to do it? I know, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to take some bacon, and we're going to throw this down right on the bottom, because it's going to cook right on that cast iron. My bacon is being a real pain in the tuchus. Why does everything want to make a fool of me tonight, guys? It's supposed to be about love and affection and my 
ingredients are just trying to mess me all up. All right, so we're just going to take a layer of bacon right here. Don't mind me. I love bacon. If I can put bacon in it or cheese, I will. Literally the reason why I did keto, because I needed to be able to eat bacon and cheese. Surprised I didn't get kidnapped when I was a kid, because somebody could have clearly picked up. You pull up to me with candy. No, no, thank you. Tina, there's bacon and cheese in the back of this van. Where are we going? Sorry. I told you guys in the beginning I'm crazy. I already let you know. So, don't say I didn't warn you. And I think I make it pretty clear that I'm a hot mess. So, I do not pretend that I have it all together, because I don't. But we get by. We survive. And we try to smell the roses while we're doing it. Alright, so, bacon... Chicken, need I say more? How's that look, guys? Does that look good? You know what? He's the big one over there. Let's put the big guy in the middle. <laughs> there we go. All right. Now, get that out of my way. Do some of this. Yum, yum, yum. Doesn't want to mix well for me. Cream cheese is still quite cold. Probably should have let that sit out for a while. All right. I know you guys are all just here to see who won the games, right? So once I get this bad boy in the oven, never leave with me. I think this piece looks like it was not attacked by my kids. My kids are fiends for cheese. Literally, my two-year-old just goes to the fridge and she's like, cheese, cheese. So apparently, that is genetic as well. My love for cheese. Pass that on to them. So that's good. But. Sometimes that means I go to get cheese and it looks like a rat to it. No rats, just poor kids. All right, so I'm going to take this little bit of mozzarella. I'd say it's probably about four ounces, quarter of a block. <coughs> and I'm going to take my big old micro plain cheese grater. And I'm going to put the mozzarella in. You guys, what's your favorite cheese? Tell me what your favorite cheese is. I know I'm probably delayed a little bit. It's so weird because like I can talk to you guys and then like three minutes later when I've already said a hundred million other things, I get an answer and I'm like, oh, sorry. It's not my fault. It's Facebook, I swear. Okay, I'm probably gonna, if I slice my finger, guys, I'm sorry. Hopefully Drew's not watching anymore. Oh, you are, honey. If I cut my finger, bring me a band-aid, please. Come home, save me. All right. My goodness, I probably should have used the piece, but, but no. Okay. Love my microplane cheese graters. Keep them within the hand's reach at all times. Okay, now we really want to make sure this is mixed up because I'm just going to plop it on top and spread it all around that chicken. And what cheese do you guys think we should put on top? Should I do a little bit of feta, more mozzarella? You think, do feta and mozzarella cheese go together? I think so, right? I don't see that being a problem. Maybe we won't. We'll see how it goes. All right. So I just want to make sure there's no big clumps of cream cheese, so this way everything 
is equally creamy. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah, I think originally I was going to do feta. I think I'm going to stick with that. You know what? Let me kind of make sure I put this right on top of the chicken. You can also stuff the chicken, guys. I do a lot of times I take the bacon and I wrap it around the outside after I've stuffed like something similar to this in the middle. That's delicious too. But it's an extra couple steps that I just don't have time for today because we got to pull winners for our game. And I just don't feel like doing it today. And that's okay. All right. Make sure this is even. Looks like there's a big glove there. Okay. Who's ready for it? Feta cheese on top. I'm out of Parmesan, I think. I need to go shopping. I think I used all my Parmesan, Leanna. Parmesan Romano, yeah. Oh, Reggiano, yes. We ha I used that the other night. I used the last of it. And I didn't buy more when I went to the store yesterday. So, but it is, guys. Okay. Now, let's get the oven going here. I'm going to set this to 425. Eh, let's do 400. I don't want to overkill it. I'm, I don't follow recipes very well, guys. I just do my own thing. So, Sorry if I mislead you. But you can learn from my mistakes. If I burn the whole thing, just don't do it what I do. You either learn from what I do or you learn from what I mess up. Either way, we're learning. Okay. While that gets going, just going to be a few minutes. Let's pick our winners. Yes, yes, yes. I promised chicken dinner and winner, winner. So, let me grab my handy dandy chair. Let me bring you guys down to my level. Okay. Have y'all been drinking? Hmm? Somebody's been drinking. This whole stand just fell right over. <laughs> All right, so that's not a very pretty scene. Let's turn you guys a little bit. Let me bring you into my office. <laughs> Is that a better view for you guys? I don't know. All right, so first order of business. I promise you guys I would tell you what's for March. So our spring products are, I need a drink. Hold up. Before I go yapping, I need to wet my whistle. All right, so we have March gift with purchase is going to be, this month we have that silicone spatula, that beauty. Next month it will be dun, da, 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 the small cutting board set. All right, you get all three. Don't mind my printer. All right, guys, I need to buy toner. And I forgot, like, my Parmesan cheese. So... Blue, green, orange, you guys see me, see me use these all the time, the small ones. Dishwasher safe, flexible, so you can just bend and put your food right into wherever you need it to go. Love them. They last a while. I use, Like I said, I use them all the time. I have so many of them. So, get one of my, another one of my favorite items free next month. If you host a party in March, that's what your guests will be getting for free. Oh, it is backwards. Well, I didn't flip it. See, I am a hot mess, guys. I'm sorry. All right, 60% off post exclusive. So let me try to get some of your wording away so it doesn't mess you all up with the being backwards. Dang mirror images. Okay, but I post these on the page too, so you guys can always scroll down and see, or I'll post these March ones uh, when we get to our spring products. Remember, March products releasing March 1st, okay? If you host a party in March so that all your friends will get to see all the new products, all right, you will have the choice of these sets for your 60% off, or you can pick an item. But you can get the 
chopper set. This is the simple slicer, which I just use on the onion. The manual food processor, which you guys see me use all the time for like deviled eggs. And what do we use it for the other day? Deviled eggs and I do all kinds of stuff. And I don't even remember what recipe we made the other day. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, the manual food processor, the uh, salad choppers, they're scissors like the ones I showed you, but they have a better angle on them for cutting like romaine lettuce and whatnot. Really good for salads. And the uh, food chopper, okay? So you can get that. Or you have the mixing bowl and measuring cups and uh, measuring spoons, love that. Or you have the um, cheaper one, which is gonna be the spatulas. I love my rubber spatulas. I use them all the time, as you guys see. And then again, you will be able to get, as a host only, if you get 650 in sales, you can get the uh, stoneware starter set. All right, guys, that's really the goal I wanna have for the party we're in right now. Remember, right now we're in a party. You can place your order and you can get the host rewards for February. So if you want any of these, okay, place a $25 order, get the things you have to have right now. I'll spin that wheel. If you win, you get all the rewards, okay? If you don't win, book a party with me. We can do it February, March, whatever special is better for you. Like I said, in March, everything is releasing. All right, so now for the real reason why you guys are with me, let us get to the winner winner chicken dinner. So bear with me one second while I get to our page here. I just want to refresh in case anybody has made any comments. All right, so let's start with the last one. Let's go backwards. The Candy Heart Game. Dun, 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 dun. All right, in these we have Tell Grim, Roxy, Helen, and Melanie. Okay, are we ready, guys? Dun, 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 dun. There are 565 candy hearts in that jar. Our winner is... Melanie. Good job, Melanie. All right. Winner, winner, Melanie. You have won. I will be sending you a little package here. I have my purple bags, okay, and I have, let's see, Melanie, what do you need, honey? We're going to have to talk, because I have a bunch of gifts, but I know you have a ton of stuff, so um, definitely message me. You know what, Melanie, because you are always around and so supportive, I got a special gift for you. We will chat. I will message you about your gift, okay? So um, just wait and we'll see. Well, Melanie, you won today. You may never be a winner, but you are my winner, love. All right, so we have deal or no deal. Who commented on here? We have Roxy, Thomas, Natasha, Melanie. I am going to open this up for you guys to see first. This game right here. Deal or no deal, okay? You get to pick up to three of the chocolates. I know y'all guys have seen that TV show, okay? All you have to do is pick up to three. You don't have to pick three if you don't want to, but pick three. And I'm going to save this game for Sunday just because literally there are 25 options and only four people commented on it. And I really want to give everybody a chance to um, get their uh, deals in, their and I will give you guys your offers. And then you can let me know on Sunday whether or not um, you want to take the deal. Or we can negotiate. Right? All right. So next guessing game we had was, well, the one before that was this one here. All right. How many... Um, Little candies are in the everyday pan. Now, I just want to take a second and bring you guys over to my little Because these are available also in the host package this month. So, I just want to show you guys how big they are. Someone had asked the size. I believe it was Michelle. All right. These are perfect. It's called the everyday pan because you can literally use it every day. All right. These go 
Rock crocs are amazing. They go on the stove. They go in the oven. You can put them on broil. You can use them on the barbecue. I've done in the, if you look up there, right there, that's the Dutch oven. Ooh, that baby. We do seafood broils on the barbecue all the time. Potatoes, corn, shrimp, uh, oysters, clams, all of it. We just throw it all in there. Some scallops with some Old Bay seasoning or some Creole seasoning. Okay, but anyway, the everyday pan. How many chocolates do you guys think were in here? Let's find out who our winner is. Now remember, both of these pieces, the everyday pan and the Dutch oven, are available in that host package set 60% off, guys. These are big deal items. They are not playing around this month, okay? These are not little spatulas and little cute baking things that are fairly inexpensive regularly. These are some big items. Getting them 60% off is a huge deal. All right, so, ooh, view 18 more comments. So we have 21 comments on here. Let's see. This might take me a minute to figure out, but I'm going to tell you guys first the answer. The answer is 1,279, and I know you guys can't see it because it's freaking backwards because I didn't flip the image, but I'll try to remember that next time. All right, so remember, guys, I was away for a while. I haven't done this in a little bit. Kind of forget those things. So who is closest? Let's see. Gina, 600. Tell Grim, 2140. Roxy, 3128. Tom, 2021. Ha, ha, ha. Tommy, you're funny. Hope, Heather. Heather is at 1690. So Heather is the closest so far. Oh, Jessica Marie Noel Andrews. Wow, girl. Wow. So I think she was being funny, and she wrote one, two, three, four. However, 1279, that would be the closest one. All right. Let's do it. At Julianne, Julianne Cleese, you little cheater. The bidding on these things is closed. You're too late, my love, one minute ago, you little jokester. But anyway, I love you so much. One, two. We'll let you slide because you got a newborn baby, so you're a little bit busy. But I know you love me and you support me in so many ways. If you missed my little mental health talk in the beginning of this video, you are like on the top of my list for support system. So you know I love you. Love, love, love. Jessica Marino Andrews, winner, winner. Jessica, if you are watching, I will be sending you... In your little package of goodies. Let's go ahead and get this ready now so I don't forget. Beautiful purple bag. Let's get you a Seasons Best. Dun, 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 dun. This is a cookbook, guys. These Seasons Best come out every season. So we do have sneak peek. A new one for spring. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Seasons Best. These are the yum. All right. Beautiful recipes in here. Let's see. Chicken satay, braised chicken, potato top, potato tacos. What? The tacos look good. Hmm. Chicken and kale braid. Oh, I love braids. I miss bread so much some days. All right, so tons and tons of options. You meant 1430. You got jokes, Jules. <laughs> I love you. All right, so uh, Jessica Marino Andrews. You are getting a Seasons Best. Let's pop these bad boys open. I'm going to give you two Twixit Cliffs. These are amazing, okay? You can use them on, you can put them on like bags like of vegetables and stuff that you open. You clip it shut, put it in the fridge or the freezer. Um, chip bags. So you're going to need one for a chip bag. Let's get you a big one. Jessica. And of course... Everybody needs a handy-dandy scraper in their life. There you go, Bo. You are set. You are the winner, winner, chicken dinner for that. So here is your package. And I'll go ahead and throw in. I'm going to give uh, anybody who wins, they will be getting the spring catalog, the new catalog. So you can be the first to look at them. All right. Let's see. Next game. <coughs> Melanie, you are a cheater. 
I'm looking at the new spring products. All right. We're going to leave that one up too. I will ask everybody since Sunday, like I said, provided FedEx doesn't, you know, not show up for me. Um, your new spring products will, I'll be able to show you everything that I got with for my $200. Then my husband's going to kill me if I don't make it back, guys. So better help a sister out. All right. Last guessing game. The Popcorn Kernels. And we have a bunch of guessers here. Let's see. Woohoo, 17 comments. Okay, some of them might be me, but <clears throat> the answer is. Are you ready for it? Can I get a drum roll? <laughs> drum roll is 780. 80, 780 kernels of popcorn fit in the scoop and serve. Let me show you guys. That's a lot of freaking kernels, right? Look at this. This is. It may look small because it's just a little scoop, but that's 780 kernels. That's a lot of kernels in here. This is a good scoop. This is like the perfect size serving of lasagna. All right. Amazing. And pretty much anything else. You take a scoop of risotto. Oh, it's perfect. It's a perfect portion size. I know how much I need to give each kid. These are great. And it has that beautiful, uh, I don't even, it's plastic, I would assume. I'm not sure. But, and then it's got the stainless steel handle, goes with all the other, uh, the spatula and the, um, other scoopers, so, utensils, scoopers. Guys, I show up to kids mostly all day, so you gotta, don't work with me. <laughs> oh, no, Melody, I was saying you're a cheater because you know all the spring items. You know, girl, you know. All right, so our winner on the popcorn kernels game. Let's see. Mmm. Megan Ames with 800 who said, by the way, I love my scoop and serve spatula. You are the closest so far. What's that? 420 away. Oh, did anybody beat her? Nope. Well, I am so glad that you won this, Megan, because you love your scoop and serve, and it served you well today. And that's probably how she knows how much is in there, because she uses it all the time. All right? Although, I highly doubt anybody's sitting there with uh, popcorn kernels trying to win this game. <laughs> Megan Ames. Sorry, I just want to tag everybody while I'm here. Winner, winner. What do we want to give Megan? Let's see. We are going to, ooh, okay. I'm going to separate a set. I didn't want to do it, but I'm separating a set. <laughs> we have another season's bed. Yum, yum, yum. All right, Megan, you're getting the season's best. Yes, you are. And you are going to get, hmm, I'm going to give you one medium Twix It clip. Love them. And I am going to do something I don't want to do, but I have an extra set of the onion and citrus Healers. Okay, these come in a set now, guys. They come in two, so this way your onions don't taste like oranges and your oranges don't taste like onions. However, I'm going to separate the set so we can give somebody else the other one. And since I gave you, what color should I give you? I'm going to give you the white one. They're exactly the same. They work great on both onions and citrus, obviously, grapefruit, orange, anything, okay? And they're really helpful in, if you see the shape, I don't know if you can see the shape. You see how it's just nicely curved there at the bottom? That really helps you get in and peel the peel off. So you're going to get one of these two. Okay. So we have three games finished up. <clears throat> Melanie, I'm going to send you a little something special just because you are so amazing. And I genuinely love having you around and you're so supportive and helpful mm -hmm. and I Know you love your journey with Pampered Chef. Melanie's also a Pampered Chef consultant, guys. She is on Marge's team, who I just love me some Marge. So, um, yes, they are um, 
it's so nice to have you and you're such a support and you are definitely part of my PC support team and I love having you as a cheerleader and just know I am cheering for you just as much, if not more. And I love, love, love seeing your husband doing Pampered Chef in all his amazing pajamas. I am a sucker for pajamas. <laughs> all right, guys, let's take a look at our chicken. Our chicken chicken dinner. Oh, baby, yes. All right, so what I see, let me take it out for you guys. Let me just whip it out. That sounded really inappropriate, I'm sorry. Sometimes I just can't help myself. Okay, let's take this bad boy out. Now, we can see that that bacon, you can, can you guys see? That bacon is starting to really cook. Our cheese is starting to get just a little bit brown on top, so it's probably going to be a couple more minutes. Maybe I should have done 425 to really get it cooking, but I don't want my burn, my bacon to burn on the bottom either. All right, guys, so what do we need to do? We need to, don't mind me. All right, want to hear it funny? Let me show you guys this. This is how you know I'm a mom, all right? You see these beautiful jeans here? I love them, okay? Super comfy. I went to Kohl's, it's gonna have me a little, actually, no, I went to Target, Target. It's gonna have me a little me time, a little, get mommy a couple little pants, shirts, you know what we do when we're by ourselves, right? So I go in and I'm like, oh God, look, their whole last season is on clearance. So I go over there and I feel these pants, I'm like, yes, and I look at the size, I'm like, yes, and they were like 60% off, whoop, whoop. You know I love 60% off, right? So I bring them home. I put them away in my closet. About a week later, I'm like, yes, those pants, right? Rip the tag off. Look at the tag. Maternity pants. <laughs> yep. I haven't been pregnant in two years. Thanks the Lord. Don't plan on being pregnant anytime soon. But these pants right here. They're not going anywhere. And that's how you know you're a mom for when you accidentally buy maternity pants and you know you're not bringing them back to the store. So there's my little scoop of why my life is crazy. <laughs> no, Julianne, it is not a sign. No more babies. I will not get a boy and I will be stuck with four girls and my one little Andrew and I just don't have any more. I don't have no more to give. So I have passed the torch of making babies on to the rest of the family. Y'all have fun. Aunt Titi is in full effect. Mommy, check. Aunt Titi, check, check, check. Okay? Got three nieces, uh, two nieces and a nephew. I'm good. I'm done. Y'all keep having them babies. Oh, he's rocking Stitch tonight. Yes. Tell him I said rock those PJs. I love it. He's in the kitchen making pizza in his Batman PJs. I'm like, yes, that's my guy right there. <laughs> and really, that's the fun part about Pamper Chef too, Melanie. Like, I know you're a consultant, and so, of course, you're, like, making videos of what you're doing. But even if you weren't a consultant and you ordered those products, what would you be doing? You'd be in the kitchen cooking with your husband. I know my husband loves, loves cooking with Pamper Chef just as much as I do. He's always like, hey, where's that little thing? You know that little thing for the thing, for the thing that I'm doing? Where is it? Where do you have it? You know, like they love, the kids love it. My husband loves it. My mom loves it. Everybody gets addicted to it. It's the best products out there. Every product you buy has a minimum of a one-year warranty. So it's like, yeah, okay, listen, I'm going to be real honest. Sometimes I'm like, damn, that's a little pricey, right? When I'm shopping, I'm like, mm, thank God I'm a consultant and get a discount. But in all reality... If I went to Walmart and I spent 10 bucks on the same product, right? And let's say it's $15 for Pampered Chef. Okay, I'm paying $5 more. However, in 30 days, Walmart does not care if what I bought fell apart. No retail store is gonna give you a return after it's been used, right? If I call Pampered Chef and I say, hey, y'all told me I could use this up to 400 degrees, right? And I used it at 350 and it melted. And let's say it is 
11 months and 15 days, right? Right before that 12 year, let's, I don't even know what the warranty is on this. It might be even longer, but let's just say it's right there before that warranty. They're not going to make excuses with you. They're going to ship you a new one and you're going to ship the old one back or they're going to say, don't worry about it, throw it out. We don't want it. Okay. Like it is amazing. I've had a piece of stoneware that I loved. It just broke, right? But it was under warranty within a week. Boom right at my doorstep. I threw the old one out after taking a picture. Take a picture. If you ever have any damage to your pampered chef stuff, take a picture of it, send it to me, and I will call the office for you. I will chat with the office and get it refunded for you. As long as it's within the warranty, you're good to go. All right. And like I said, there are products that have lifetime warranties. Our knives, our non our uh the pots, the stainless steel and the non-stick lifetime warranty. So you really can't go wrong. Okay, I paid $5 more for something I could have got at Walmart for 10, but I invested in my kitchen because I'm gonna be able to replace it if it breaks on me. So I'd rather pay the $5 and have it for five, six years or a lifetime warranty. You know what I'm saying? The percentage that it is a little bit more pricey is totally worth the benefits that you get, all right? So. Who's ready to party? Guys, I need to fill my schedule. This girl has been out for a while. I have not been doing Pamper Chef. My calendar is like, Meh. So we need to get some orders into this party. We need to get going. I need to get rocking and rolling. Who is ready to host? Who wants their friends to be the first ones to be able to get their hands on the... <laughs> Jules, tell me. Jules making me laugh. Yeah, sometimes he is the fourth girl. <laughs> Um, so hi, Kenneth. Love you. Miss you guys. So, um, where was I going, Jules? You messed me all up. Oh, so my calendar is blank. If you want your friends to be the first ones to get their hands on the spring product, remind you, as long as FedEx comes on Sunday, we'll get to see them. I'm not waiting. A lot of consultants who have their calendars full are still working in there. You know, they're waiting until March, March 1st to show their spring products. I get it. I'm out here with no bookings. I got no sales in this party so far. We got to get it going, guys. We got to get a jump start. So I want you guys to see those products because I'm telling you, I wasn't doing Pamper Chef anymore. I was taking a break. When I got my life back together, I was going to do it. My life is never going to be back together. I got four kids, a full-time job, a husband, a house, all these responsibilities. They're not going anywhere. They're here. So I'm going to do what I like, what I love, and enjoy doing, and... Try to make a little bit of extra income for our family while doing it. So let's get those spring products. Cause when I saw them, I was like, oh. and then I was talking to Drew and I said, you know what? I need to get back in there. I need that stuff. I need it. So I placed the $200 order so you guys can see everything because I know the best way for you guys to want the products is for me to show you the products and to be honest, even if nobody buys a dang thing, I needed them in my kitchen. I'm addicted. I have a problem. I've already told you guys I have addictive personality. Red Bull, okay, recovering addict, continuing to be a pampered chef addict. I just can't help it, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, let's take another look at our chicken dinner. Mm-hmm. That is looking good. I'm going to throw this on broil for like a minute and a half because I'm... Using my cast iron, I can put that baby on broil high. <laughs> Come on, Kenneth, don't you need to cook something? I got a list of things that you could have. I will, uh, I got, I can hook up mom's kitchen for you. <laughs> so guys, make sure you get your orders in for Sunday. Sunday, we are going to do the raffle. I'm giving away the whole host reports pack. Hold it. Mm -hmm host rewards package so the best way to get the whole package is to place an order and the, every $25 you spend I'm gonna make another entry into you know what how about this every $10 every $10 you spend will get you one entry into the host rewards package. So make your order, submit it by Sunday afternoon, every $10 you spend. So even if you can only get one item, whatever, you know, there's only one thing you want without getting a discount on it, fine. Place your order, every $10 I am going to 
give you an entry into the raffle. So if you spend 50, 50 bucks, 55 bucks, that's five entries into the raffle. Okay, when you win, you're gonna get the whole shopping spree. Come on, it's Valentine's Day. Somebody out there wants to go shopping. And you know what, Kenneth? Place yourself a little order, and if you win the host rewards package, you could give it to your mama, okay? Because I'm sure she wants some stuff too, all right? If you also have seen, I posted a while ago, I'm doing surprise boxes. You can pay your age. You can be whatever age you want. You want to spend $25, you want to spend $100, you want to spend $300. You tell me, I will do a surprise box for you, which means I'm going to go in and select all the order, the items in your surprise box, however much you want to pay. I don't care if you're 22 and you say you're 95. Whatever you want to spend. And I'm going to go in and personally pick out some items, and then it's going to be delivered to your front door, and you're going to be like, oh, surprise. And you get to do an unboxing of all the products that I picked out for you, and you'll love it. But remember, Sunday is our main thing. Get your orders in by Sunday. Whoever wins, every $10 you spend is going to be one entry, and whoever that wheel lands on, bang, they're going to get 60% off those sets that we showed you before. They're going to get 50% off items. The 50% off items you can use on whatever you want, whatever you want, okay? And then you can get free product value, okay? And if we only hit 200, you get a kit credit, which means that the free product would go towards becoming a consultant. You get it taken off of your kit. But as soon as we hit $300, you get free product value. So it's totally an option. But if you want to do what I do and stand in your kitchen and talk like a crazy woman about your life like me, knock yourself out and make some money while you're doing it and cooking up some goodies, then let me know because I would love, love, love to have everybody on my team build up our team. Okay? Like I said, I'm really trying hard to get back in here. So get those orders in if you just want to support. Get your um, booking in if you want to host a party, week one party. And listen, guys, I'm doing all kinds of things, too. We can do a Zoom meeting party where all your friends get together at a specific time and go into the Zoom meeting. And I'll do exactly what I'm doing, but be able to talk with you guys um, we can do a messenger party meeting where I just, we make a group of your friends and I just send like 15 minutes worth of, po of um, messages. And then at the end, they get the shopping link and they go get to pick everything out that they want. So there's so many different options. We don't have to do a week long Facebook party. We can, like I said, we can even do, you could pick out a recipe you want to see and I'll cook it with your friends, like I said, on Zoom, and we can chat, and we can figure out exactly what everybody's kitchen problems are. So just let me know. There's so many ways to party these days. Tell me what you're looking for, and I will help you do that. And in the meantime, you will earn your, earn your host rewards package. All right, guys, I think dinner is done. Yes, I do use my oven mitts sometimes as a trivet. I have like four trivets everywhere, but I love all the silver. Look, guys, there's, we have the oven mitts. These are the toaster oven mitts. And the microwave oven mitts. And the microwave mitts. All right. There's something for everything. Camper Chip literally has a tool for whatever. Okay. Um, Jules, I think I'm going to do a demo only on Sunday. I don't think I'm going to do one tomorrow night. Tonight, then tomorrow we'll probably, you know, do some more posts. I'll go over some stuff. Then Sunday on Valentine's Day, I'm going to, do, on Shrimp Scampi. Oh, I got you. Maybe I'll make that for dinner tomorrow night. I'll let you know. Maybe we can do a private Zoom meeting and, and I'll walk you through it. Is that what you're making for Valentine's Day dinner? It's super easy, super duper easy. You're totally capable. It's a two pot dinner. Bam, done. And probably some garlic right on the side, just saying. If you really wanna do it like Popeye style, cause I know we love our shrimp scampi from Popeye's. I got you girl. But anyway, so Sunday I will be doing my main demo with my Valentine's Day dinner. Like I said, we're gonna do surf and turf, we're gonna do shrimp, um, lobster and steak. So if you want to cook with me like Julianne is suggesting, all you have to do is go get yourself some steak, some um, lobster, and I will walk you through it. We're gonna need some butter, some lemon, some basic seasonings, and if you have fresh thyme, that'll be helpful too. Yeah, 
So, if you want to cook with me then, you can. Oh yeah, you have got to get, I love these things. Did you see me? I'm literally sitting here like, like little puppets holding them. Okay, let's check out our dinner. Yes! Oh, it looks amazing. Oh, here we go. Oh my God, you guys. You're gonna be so hyped. I'm so hyped. Look at that, that nice brown feta cheese. That bacon is nice and cooked under there. The chicken is sitting in that bacon juice so it's nice and moist. And don't forget we got that spinach and onion and cream cheese and mozzarella topping on there under that feta. Let's serve a piece. Ah! It's like my oven mail almost died. Are y'all ready? You ready? I don't think you're ready for this jelly. I don't think you're ready for Sorry. I had a Destiny Child moment. Oh, yes. Look at that with the bacon underneath. Hallelujah. It's gonna be so good. Let me grab it. Steak knife here, Pamper Chef steak. Oh my god, I gotta show you guys this while we're talking about this. Pamper Chef steak knives, you can order them by themselves. They come in a set of four. And this beautiful box, love this box, okay? So if you don't have the knife folder, you can you know, store them in there. But look how beautiful they are. They're just like that big one I showed you in the beginning of the video. If you're still watching, I'll keep it hot. Oh my god, you guys. Just look at that. Is that not beautiful? Mm. Yes, ma'am. Alright, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys this little trick. Okay, so and tried to run away. I saved it. I saved it. All right. Just like two more minutes and then I'm out because I am eating that chicken while it's hot. All right. So we have our um, insulated serving bowls, right? Now we make salad in the house all the time. Okay. So here's a little trick for you guys that I use. We make so much salad. Like we make a salad every couple days, but when we make it, we always end up with leftovers, right? And we have the insulated serving bowls, which are great. Beautiful clear lid, okay? And if you can see, you have white and silver. But what we do is we take a little paper towel. This salad is two days old. And it still looks fresh. There's cheese in there, cucumber. All right, I don't know. How do I help you guys? Oh, let me turn y'all down. Look at that. Two days old, olives, cheese, cucumber. But look, this spinach is still crispy. It's not soggy and gross. So guess what? My dinner's done now, guys. All right? Best way to do it. Always put a paper towel in there because if your lettuce is wet, it's going to get soggy. But the paper towel helps absorb all that moisture. Now, if you guys don't know about the insulated bowls, these babies keep your food hot or cold. Whatever temperature the food is when it goes in, that's where it's going to maintain for multiple hours. And they have this cute little handle here so the lid can sit right on the side. So for serving like mashed potatoes or you can put your fajita or taco meat in here. Okay, and then you just put that lid on. It's going to lock in that temperature and keep it insulated in whatever temperature. Like I said, if you're putting cold stuff in there, it's going to stay cold for hours. If you're putting hot in there, it's going to stay hot for hours. All right, guys. I'm sorry. I've had so much fun hanging out with you. I'm way over time that I usually do. I've been with you guys for like what two hours now I don't even know thank y'all for staying with me and I am going to go eat that deliciousness before Drew unleashes those kids because I know Drew's waiting for me to press end on this video to come home so 
I got to go get dinner ready for them and clean up before they get here while I eat that chicken. I love you guys. P.S. I love you day. If you don't remember, I love you. Everybody else loves you. And if you ever need anybody to talk to, I am here for anyone, even if we don't even know each other. Trust me, I've been through a lot. And I know that sometimes you just need somebody to talk to. So my inbox is always open. See you guys on Sunday.